Hey, what's going on out there, guys? All right, today I finally get to start on the truck. It's official. We're going to start now. Got some dance here. It's got to dance all the way around the truck, but... All right, guys, so we got the nail gun and the setup. We're just going to go ahead and grind that paint so we could get some bite for the nails to pull it out. Okay, babe, so you put the flat side in there. Yeah. And then you'll hold it flat against there um, on your low spots. And you'll need a few of them. You'll stick them wherever it's low. Okay, huh? And you'll hold it flush against there for about three to five seconds. Okay. And That's it. On. Okay. And then now you just continue putting them just, yeah. wherever there's a little yeah. few. So like here I would put one right in the middle right there. Okay. And then you just kind of space them. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, babe. And then we'll start pulling. Awesome. Just pulling the dents now, guys. So. I'm doing an all right job, right, boss? Mm-hmm. Okay, keep going there. That's there, babe. All right, guys, we got it pulled. I'm gonna go ahead and start grinding off those now. Get ready to put some, grind them down flush, flush. Right, Bridge? Yeah. And then we'll throw a layer of Bondo on it. Mm -hmm. And that'll be it for panel one, right? For now? Sounds good, babe. So next, we got all that prepped on both sides, but now she's using some Bondo. It's the Bondo we're using. Added the hardener. Mix it up. Slap it on there, guys. All right. Just got it mixed up. Just going to apply it over, guys. Now normally we'd have did this right away, guys. We didn't. We it got dark on us last night, and it's already getting cold. So we just waited till the next day. No moisture. If there had been moisture, we either would have put it on, or we'd have wrapped some kind of plastic or some a bridge. Yeah. Put something. We probably would have applied it up. Mm -hmm. We'd have known it was gonna be moisture. We don't want no moisture in there. Especially for doing outside, you doing it outside, guys. Inside the garage, no big deal. But all right, so we'll just keep applying this here, let it dry up, and show you the next step, guys, that we're doing. 
All right, so it's nice and dry, and now we're just gonna start fanning it out, guys. Get it shaped up a little bit. Let's open that. Both sides, guys, get sanded off. Probably prime it today too, so. But right now this is where we're at. All right, and some of the process of the sanding there, you can see where I pulled it. We're gonna have some high spots. But my baby has the experience and knows where to kind of tap it. And uh, where to get her to look good. So, what are we doing here, Hans? We're just blocking it out with 80 grit. Yeah. Okay. Block that out to catch any low spots. Then we'll mask it and prime it. Oh, that'll be it, huh? So that's mm -hmm. not too bad, huh? Mm -hmm. Is that why you wanted to start it with the easy stuff first? <laughs> okay. And here's on the other side. Same thing, guys. We got some high spots showing up. Bridge, we don't want to lose this edge here, right? Right. So that's the main reason. You're going sounding the just straight back and forth. Yeah. Now we're just working on getting that angle there. This angle right here. By the way, she's sanding it. It's gonna naturally start to form, right, Bridge? I don't know if you guys can really see it from there, but it's starting to. Happen. She's in there. Skim coat. Okay. Okay. And I didn't finish on this guy. Okay. I mean, I got some man. But... So this is the last one we gotta prep, and then skim coat, right, Bridge? So that's where we're at there, guys. Uh, it's we're about what, Bridge? Hour and a half into this, you think? With work? About an hour and a half. Hour, maybe. So that's the steps we're taking, guys. To get this thing ready. Looking nice. Um, I don't want to say... This is my first time ever doing this kind of stuff. Bridget's just been doing this work for years, guys, so don't think I know exactly what I'm doing. This is a learning process for me. I'm a concrete carpenter guy. Never did anything like this before, so. All new experience for me. Uh, I just wanted to work on the truck that my grandpa passed on to me from when he passed on that he had brand new, so. These dents are all for me, guys. <laughs> As he got older, you know, you lose vision and working out on the ranch he back his work tractor into it so that's where a lot of these big dents come from that you're gonna see guys so and i'm gonna get it back to looking nice again guys all right now we're just mixing up the spot putty and that's what we use there up bridge yeah. of course with the hardener we ran out a little bit there so That. Hi, babes. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. We just need a little bit more to finish that, right, babe? Yeah. What do you think? I'll mix. I'll have to mix more. All right. Continue there, guys. Let that dry. Same thing, right, babe? Just sand it out. All right, guys, we got it prepped up, getting ready for primer. Uh, we just got to throw some plastic over the tires. She's got some tire covers there. And uh, got windy earlier. I don't know if you guys noticed when we're making this video, so we didn't think we were going to get to prime it, but it calmed down. I'm going to go ahead and scratch the rest of the surface around there that we have masked out with uh, uh, 400 dry. So... I'll go ahead and do both sides and go from there, guys. Now, Bridget's just mixing the primer, guys. You want to make sure and stir it in the gallon. Don't just ever open them up and pour. But she already knows all that. Mix it real good. And what's your ratio to this, Bridge? Uh, this one calls for 4 to 1 to 1. But because the temperature is cold outside, we're going to go 4 to 1 to a half. Ah, okay. Four to one to a half. Turn it outside in the driveway. So, got a measuring cup. Need help, buns? No. We don't need much, right, babe? You're adding what's on that one? The, the reducer. Reducer. And I'm just putting to a half. Right. So the primer hardener, we still added the one, and the reducer, we went to half. Right. So awesome. One primer, one part hardener, one part. Half, half part of reducer today. Okay. That's just our first primer coat, right, hon? Right. Still got a. We do all the same steps of blocking, sanding, and all that again, right? Correct. Okay. It's looking out pretty good, guys. I'll show you once she goes to spray it. So you just want to keep making sure you're mixing it real nice and thorough, guys. Get it mixed up and get it dumped in the gun. Oh. And you gotta wait before you can turn it off. I know. And you don't have to wait like an hour. Right. Just till it's set up. All right, let's go spray this dog. Okay, scratched it up again with the 400 dry. That's it, babe? Yeah, we'll let that dry, and then I'll go over it more. Okay. See, because I was just going to spray the whole thing. Oh, we don't need to. Hey. But, but it did need to be sanded, because if you don't, uh, this won't stick, and it's a heck of a time getting it off. Uh, because if you paint over that without sanding it off, your paint will actually flake off with it. 
because it, this has nothing to grab to if you don't sand it. Oh, see? Well, I'm glad I let you do it, huh? I was going to spray the and then whole the, thing. We sanded it with the 400 mm -hmm. because when we wet sand, it's the 400, so that we have no marks. Oh, okay. Huh? Good job. Okay. All right, guys. We're getting the last coat on, three coats. Let it dry, apply the next coat. And my babe said we're gonna go ahead and spray this on there right away. It's the normal uh, guide coat. But the main reason we're doing it is because we're gonna be driving this home tonight, so we'd have to mask it again because I'm gonna keep it the same color but with the guide coat it's already expensive what did you say these go babe 25 bucks a can no that was, the guide coat's like 10 bucks a can I think. Oh, that's still kind of high I don't know 10 bucks a can so that's where we're at guys we're gonna get that get it set up um still got more work but you can already see those lines coming back See it coming along, guys. So, there's the other side. Same thing. Stents were there. They're coming out pretty good. So, we officially broke ground on the 95 Ford F 250, getting my body work and all that done, guys. So, pretty excited I don't know when we'll start working on the rest we'll probably just start from the front and work our way back and that's about it probably probably will be a while before I get to work on it we'll see guys I'm gonna like I said make clips here and there as we're doing the process so and as always thanks for viewing thanks for your time be safe out there and God bless